All right, guys, so <coughs> I'm driving about 20 miles an hour, and this is, I'm now on Audubon, which is off 501, Audubon Lane. And um, so it's a, it's residential, you know, I mean, we're out kind of, we're out past the country club and just kind of keep going down 501. Um, but I'm, I'm driving around 20. Um, there's kids here, you know, dogs, horses. So please be respectful. Um, obviously don't block people's driveways. I mean, I say that and it has happened and then I'm getting the bloody angry messages. And so I just think that's common sense and, you know, and common courtesy. So think about the neighbors. Um, you can pull into the drive. There's loads of room in the driveway for you to pull in once you've made your purchases. You know, it's gonna be bloody hot tomorrow. You know, like triple digits apparently. So, you know, you walk, you can look around the house, we've got air conditioning of course. Um, and then you can drive up and pick up the purchases, whatever you bought. You know, you don't have to walk. Okay, now, we get to this part here, this curve, and you see this black fence. You cannot park, this is all private property. And there are some like big stones there, like rocks. This black fence all the way here. And I would hope that you wouldn't do it anyway because it is very narrow. It's, all, it's almost like an English country lane. Um, no parking here. No parking on this side of the road, which is the right side of the road as you're driving along. No parking whatsoever. And you know, and it drops off there and you've got a fence, so that belongs to someone. I've spoken to them, they know about the estate sale and um, you know, no parking. No parking in this field here. This is all private property. So when you get here, then you turn onto Huckleberry Lane. I mean, isn't it gorgeous out here? So we've got Audubon Drive, okay, and then Huckleberry Lane, right there, zoom in. And then I said in my post about parking diagonally, so they've got this road here, so you can, um, the homeowner owns all of this, so you can kind of park in there diagonally. And if you do that, we can get more cars in. So kind of like if I pull in, and I'm gonna park, you know, pull forward and park diagonally like that, and then we can kind of stack the cars. Okay. Now, oh, I've got the wipers on it. So let me reverse. And obviously you just drive slowly. I mean, there's no need to race around. curb you can park all here all this grass verge here you can park on this side and then there's a um, like a round not a roundabout like a turnaround at the end this is a cul-de-sac I'll do that I'll show you so you can park all along here so this gravel part here is going to be for the start for our slot so we've got driveway we've got lots of room here and then you can even carefully drive park diagonally here so at the front of the house again park diagonally here and here and then here is the turnaround obviously we've got two more houses here do not block the driveway so you can you know, pull out turn around I mean I'm driving really slowly I know I'm holding the phone too but Once you've made your, you bought whatever you want, um, if you want to pick it up, you know, that the sale day, you can pull into the driveway, you've got two entrances, and pick up yourself. I think that's pretty self-explanatory, but um, just wanted to go over it, and uh, see you tomorrow at 10am, it'll be a great sale. Cheers.